Hi everybody, it's Jungle Jen here at the Roosevelt Park Zoo. Today we're going to talk about snowshoes. Let's compare your snowshoes to your regular shoes. What can we tell about these big old snow boots? They're a lot thicker, right? They're a lot heavier. There's more insulation to them. They're a lot warmer. There's also a lot of better tread, so you won't slip on the ice, as opposed to these flat bottom shoes that you'd probably wear in your school halls. They're also a lot wider, so they're a lot more stable on the ice. Now, what if I told you that we have an animal here at the zoo who has built-in snowshoes? Keeper Amanda is going to take us into the red panda barn today. Their paws, they have curvy little pads, so that helps them not to slip on any snow or ice um, climbing out in the wild. Basically, when the weather's cooler, when we first got them, they weren't used to our temperatures, but we slowly let them have access to colder and colder, and now their favorite temperature is like 10 degrees out, and they're playing all the time. We have that. Well, they're fun feeder outside. But just a little more like foraging, just so kind of working more for their food. And kind of puzzles, solving puzzles. You went to see their natural habitat. I did. What did that, how did that change how you see them or how you interact with them? Well, it was really good to see like the forest area because then I can try and implement that here. If you kind of see them here and you're like, how can they even hide in Nepal? But in the trees over there, they have a red moss there that they just blend right into the trees and it's really hard to see them. We only ended up seeing two red pandas in the wild. We looked for 10 days or so. It was still really cool to see the two there and just being like in a bamboo forest it was fairly impressive like i've been in normal forests and so just to be surrounded by bamboo that was pretty awesome to see too we kind of alter any enrichment feeding device based on how they eat they use their paws to go in and swipe out the food snuggle them because they don't want to be a pet like your cat or your dog. Any interaction is basically the training to let them feel comfortable with a veterinarian or the keeper manipulating ears to look in there or open up the mouth to see if there's any teeth problems or grab a paw. It's just a lot better for the animal if it's everything voluntary and it's a lot less stressful. And as always, Georgia said that the bowl is empty. Think about some of the adaptations that you have. Maybe they're not built in like the red pandas, but maybe you have some nice warm coats, some good hats. Until next time, I'm Jungle Jen. We'll see you at the Roosevelt Park Zoo.